This here is the biggest level of Yender Simulator, for example, the school, including all areas, some characters for some reason. Textures are messed up bad. Many textures could not be imported at all, unfortunately, or rather they were not exported properly, so they can't be used, of course. This uses an older version of uh, Unity 5.4 point something, I think. So it might be because of uh, that, because um, Tiny Ripper is made for 2017 in mind. But it does have everything in here. If you're willing to go through a bunch of texture replacements, you can actually get this working again. You can actually put this into a workable state. All the rooms are here. Now, when you do open a scene export of a few tiny ripper, it usually looks like this, but luckily, many of these textures can be saved. What you tiny ripper extracts is a bunch of folders, and you can just drag them into a Unity project, the most interesting being scene. So let's go to scenes and open the f uh, scene file. It will end up being pink. All right, so this is how you use Utani Ripper. You just extract the zip file. I'm gonna, I mean, the link is in the description, but I'm gonna show you how to download it later because it's a bit confusing. Uh, in Utani Ripper, there are two files, a DLL file and the .exe file. You can see the .exe if you have file name extensions enabled. I recommend you do. And just copy it, Control C that thing, and go to the game folder of the Unity project, go to the game names underscore data, of that project and paste them in here. Now you need to open a console. Hold down the shift key, the shift key, the key that makes letters big. Hold it down, don't release it, and right click on something white. Don't right click on a file or it will not work. Right click on and don't have anything selected. Just right click on the white stuff and press open command window here. All right, what you do now is you write utine and press tab to get you tinyripper.exe space and then you have to pick which file. Now shared asset files just contain assets like meshes, 3D models, uh, textures, stuff like that. Audio files too. But if you want to extract a level, some games have them as asset packs or whatever it's called, I don't really know. But uh, in this case, in the case of Ravenfield and many other games, there will be just level files. And here I'm just going to write level 0 and press enter. And now it's exporting and it's done. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Let's just uh, look at this folder. Now there's a ripped folder. If we go inside, we have level zero and we have uh, all these contents. Now if we go back and do the same thing but with level one, let's try that. It's actually also very quick. I guess, yeah, both are quite small. I mean, level zero is only 162 kilobytes. Level one is five megabytes, six megabytes. Pretty good. Pressing enter to get out of there. And now we have ripped two folders. And let's see what happens if we just put this into Unity. Now I'm going to create a new project. And I'm using 2018. It should work, I think. As per usual, it's going to take a little to launch the uh, project. All right, so here we have the folder for the project. Let's just copy. Let's just select these two files and drag them in here. This is going to take a while. All right, let's check out level zero and go to scenes and just double click it. Uh, all right, all right, it's working. Now this looks horrible because everything is pink. This is a common Unity textures are not loaded problem. There is a walk around. Even if not all textures are imported properly, you can just go to material, the material folder, select everything, just press control A. It might take a while if you have a huge project and hit shader drop down, pick standard. Just look at this, just look at this. It's, it's just, it just works now. Isn't it great? Now animations I don't think get exported um, because the posture is not correct, but you can even play, oh, let's just hit save, control S, uh, fingers crossed, and now press play. Yeah, it th even starts, it's fantastic. There are a bunch of errors, but uh, maybe like restarting would help. Sometimes you have invisible objects that have no name, you can delete them. Sometimes it seems to work. But yeah, this is, uh, this is what you can get. So let's check out level 1. Let's go to Scenes, 
and level one. All right, same problem. Everything is pink, except the ground texture, the terrain texture, and the grass and the stones. They seem to be properly loaded. So let's go to the material folder of this level. How many files do we have here? One twenty-seven. All right, let's hit uh, standard texture. Oh, this is fantastic. It just works. Now we can see behind the scenes, we can see actually these cubes being the spawn points as opposed to circles in earlier versions. And we can, we just have this level. Now, one thing that the standard uh, material does not get right are leaves, leaf uh, textures. If we go in here and let's see, older bark, older branches, I think this one, we want to set this to cut out. Yeah, or is it fade? Not quite, not transparent. Maybe fade is nicer. And I don't know what's up with this black ball at the very end of the camera. Let me just save this. Hitting Control S. Can we play? Yeah, it, it survives when we press play. I don't think we even have any errors by now. This is amazing. So this is, for example, a Unity 5.6 project, I think, or 5.4. This is Ravenfield Beta 1, the free version. Basically nothing stands in the way of putting this map into the workshop, except a potential uh, thinking that maybe Steel Raven 7 would not like it. But uh, he is quite open to modding. Now, let's take a look at a project by a developer who... I believe uh, is a bit under stress right now and d possibly expressed disapproval of modding. Hopefully that was just a bad mood. Yander Simulator, one of the latest versions, 5.6 is the Unity version. By the way, to find out the Unity version, usually you can just check the output log file. If it's missing, just start the game once, just launch it and uh, immediately alt F4 out of it. Go to the data folder and here's output log. And here you will see initialize engine version 5.6.2 F1. This is very important if you um, want to write a bug report about Utiny uh, Ripper, Utiny Ripper. The developer is responsive, but I think it is very useful if you provide the version. So uh, this is another project. Let's get um, Utiny Ripper. Just copy and paste the files here. We're going to have shift right click here, open command window. Now what are we gonna export? Let's start with something small. For example, oh, level 13, let's see what that is. All right, the thing is, for example, resources, Unity default resources, this, this file for some, for some reason is needed. So this, uh, like moving files out of here uh, could be a problem. Disconnecting the files, moving files apart and trying to extract them somewhere else. It might be a problem, so just do it inside the game folder. Copy the game folder if you have um, if you have worries that you might destroy something. That's totally legit. Now Yander is quite a huge project with a lot of textures, so this is going to take a lot longer. Two minutes and forty seconds later. All right, done here. All right, let's just try opening this ripped level before we continue to the big one. Oh boy, one hundred fifty. So what we just did is level thirteen, which. All right, here are the files. Let's just drag them in. Well, this is going to take a while again. All right, that took really long, about 10 minutes or so. So it created a scene one folder because there already was a scene folder. I just hit Control S. Hopefully that doesn't do anything bad. All right, so this took about one to two minutes. So here we go, scenes one, level 13. Fingers crossed, don't crash. All right, here it is. What is this? What, what is this? All right, anyways, let's go to material. Select everything. Oh my goodness, 3,000 materials. Let's, let's give it a try. Okay, this doesn't seem to be... Okay, for some reason... Standard roughness setup works. Where is the material? Again, let's go for this. Standard roughness setup. Okay, cool. So that works. This is some kind of hidden level, isn't it? 
Unfortunately, all audio clips fail to import. That's, that's a shame. And look at that. This guy's animation are actually in-game. Wow. So this is not a secret level, it's actually a uh, level of a game inside the game. You can play it on the console. So this time we're gonna delete this folder and drag them all in. Well, here goes nothing. 12 minutes later. Okay, at least it loads quickly. Let's see, what do we have here? I think this is the... All right, let's just go and fix the materials so we can see what this actually is. Selecting all 1200 materials. Standard. Standard roughness setup. Looks better. Okay, so this is a graveyard. I'm not familiar with this in game. Is it just the game over screen? I don't know. Well, anyways, I think we got the gist of how to actually use you, Tiny Ripper. Now, just quickly to download it. Right now, there are no releases on GitHub. Instead, you have to use this little icon and go to Configuration Release and then go to Artifacts and then you can download the zip file here. And that one contains the DLL and the uh, exe. The URL is here, it's in the description of this video. And uh, that is it. If you have a game that cannot be decompiled, you can write a issue here. Maybe the developer will have time to, to handle it. Anyways, I hope you have fun modding games or whatever you are planning to use this for, maybe fan art. And make sure to subscribe because I go back and back to modding again and again. Hit that bell as well to get notifications and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!